Hello my dear students welcome you all today i am going to discuss about aptimers aptimers drug delivery system what are aptimers aptimers are basically a type of oligonucleotide or peptide molecules that bind to a specific target molecule this is made up of two words apto is a latin word or latin term which means to fit and miros means a smallest unit of repeating structure or miros means a part it is a greek word so that's why these two words combine together to form aptomer so as the name suggest aptomers aptimers are oligonucleotide aptimers are usually created by selecting them from a large random sequence pool but natural aptimers also exist in ribose switches aptimers can be combined with ribozymes to self cleave in the presence of their target molecule they range in size from 20 to 80 bases so let us now discuss the ideal characteristics of aptimers the first characteristic of aptimer is most aptimers bind to targets with high affinity demonstrating typical dissociation constant in the pico to nanomolar range binding sites for aptimers include clefts and grooves of target molecules including enzymes resulting in antagonistic activity very similar to many currently available pharmaceutical agents second characteristics of aptimers are structurally stable across a wide range of temperature and storage conditions maintaining the ability to form their unique tertiary structures third characteristic is aptimers can be chemically synthesized in contrast to the expensive and work extensive or work, work intensive biological systems needed to produce monoclonal antibodies aptimer target binding mechanism so let us now understand the concept of aptimer target binding here this is a aptimer sequence this form 3d structure like this one it is a functional aptimer and it binds to a target binding site it happens in cell systematic evolution of ligands by exponential enrichment so aptimers are typically generated by an iterative screening process of complex nucleic acid libraries employing a process termed systematic evolution of ligands by exponential enrichment this is also known as or briefed as selex selex is the short form of this term selex produces ssrna with a specific binding target this is an iterative process of binding partitioning amplifying novel nucleic acid and regeneration the pool becomes enriched for ligands that bind the target protein with high affinity and specificity the first step is to synthesize a large pool of nucleic acid molecules made from average of 15 to 40 bases of random sequences that are flanked by primer primers 5 and 3 fifth and third end the pool of 
DNA is transcribed into an RNA pool and it is sequentially exposed to the target ligand of interest. Affinity column chromatography removes unbound sequences and identifies the strongest binding sequences and bound are eluted and amplified by RT-PCR. Silex in brief. So here is a diagram which indicates or which describe the silex. Here is a detailed structure or detailed diagram about silex. Let us now understand the concept of silex. Initial here is a initial DNA pool. Upon transcription, it converts or it creates an RNA pool. Then, upon counter selection, RNA pool unspecifically binds RNAs and RNA pool without unspecifically binding RNAs. In the next step, binding reaction occurs. Proteins and RNA pool participates here in this step. In the next step, selection via filler binding. In the next step, non binding species in the flow through Following the next step, protein RNA complex on the filter is produced. Urea PCI in this step recovery of selected RNA occurs. In the next step, reverse, transcript reverse transcription occurs and finally, we do PCR and we get cloning sequencing. So, in this way, Selex work. Aptamer selection method based on Selex. Nitrocellulose membrane filtration based Selex. Affinity chromatograph and magnetic weird based Selex. Capillary electrophoresis based silex, microfluidic based silex and cell silex. Let us now discuss about classification of aptamers based on structure. Aptimers are classified into two main categories that is nucleic acid and amino acids. So, aptimers are categorized as nucleic acid as well as amino acids. Nucleic acids are further classified into three categories or the examples of nucleic acid RNA, DNA and XNA are a part of nucleic acid or made up of nucleic acid. Amino acids include peptides and ephemer. Let us now discuss about comparison of RNA, DNA, peptide and aptamers or peptide aptamers. RNA aptamers, these are complex secondary and tertiary structure. DNA aptamers complex secondary and tertiary structure and peptide aptamers are structure constraints by scaffold. RNA aptamers are a form of diverse 3D structure. DNA aptamers less diverse 3D structure than RNA aptamers and peptide aptamers are 3D structure constraints by scaffold. RNA aptimers bind target with the entire sequence whereas DNA aptimers bind target with the 
entire sequence and when we compare these two with the peptide aptamers they bind targets variable region only biosensors diagnostics therapeutic application of rna aptamers dna aptamers these are also used as biosensor diagnostics and therapeutic application and peptide aptamers are also used as biosensor they are also used in diagnostics and therapeutic applications are also there what are aphimers the aphimer protein and evolution of peptide aptamer is a small highly stable protein engineered to display peptide loops which provides a high affinity binding surface for a specific target protein it is a protein of low molecular weight approx 12 to 14 kilo dalton derived from the cysteine protease inhibitor family of cystatins comparison between dna and rna aptamers in contrast to antisense oligonucleotides and small interfering RNAs which are also known as SI RNAs that inhibit translation of proteins by Watson Crick base pairing to their respective messenger RNAs. Aptamers bind to existing proteins and less commonly non-protein targets with high affinity and specificity analogs to monoclonal antibodies. RNA and DNA aptamers both have theoretical advantages proponents but aptamers of comparable affinity, affinity and specificity can be generated from RNA or DNA since nuclease resistance is critical for aptamer stability in biological fluids. RNA libraries employed in Salix are front loaded with secondary modified nucleotides most commonly 2-fluoro or 2-O methyl pyrimidines. Probably the biggest current advantage of DNA over RNA aptamers is the significantly lower cost of chemical synthesis for unmodified DNA oligonucleotides. However, RNA is pre preferred by many groups due to the theoretically higher affinity of RNA aptamers for their target proteins as well as the greater plasma stability of modified RNA than unmodified DNA. A stimulation of the immune system via toll like receptors by double stranded regions within RNA aptamers is a valid concern. But modified or we can say artificial nucleotide do not appear to be potent stimulators of this innate immune response. Cell surface proteins, aptamers and their application. So here are some examples of RNA and DNA aptamers. Tennessin C. This is a receptor where RNA or DNA aptamers bind, and the selection technique used is purified TNC. And delivery application, these are used in vivo tumor imaging. Nucleolin, it is a DNA based aptamer or DNA aptamer. Selection technique is not applicable, whereas the delivery application is as photodynamic therapy or tumor imaging. Likewise, these are another examples. Classification of aptamers based on different techniques. There are three main techniques which are used. First one is aptamer selex, second one is aptamer small molecule conjugated system and third one is aptamer nanoparticle conjugated system. So in this cytotoxic drugs, these are used as cytotoxic drugs, B linkers, Inorganic nanomaterials, organic nanomaterials. So here are some of the categories and some of the carrier systems used as aptamers. And carriers 
which carry aptamers to the body or cells or to the target site in uh, this category of b linkers this is categorized in three sub categories chemical liable linker non liable linker and enzyme liable linker whereas in aptamer nanoparticle conjugative system it is also categorized in two sub categories in organic nanomaterials and organic nanomaterials in organic nanomaterials contains or includes gold nanoparticles nano nano scale iron oxides mesoporous silica nanoparticles quantum dots etc whereas in organic nanomaterials liposomes poly lactoglycolic acid polymeric micelles dendrimers serum albumin nanoparticles and dna nanoparticles are used as carriers of or for the aptamer aptamer functionalized targeted drug delivery system aptamer small molecule conjugated system its advantage is good chemical stability and isotropic properties and the disadvantage of this kind of aptamer system low drug loading complex and costly procedure aptamer nano material conjugated system the advantage of this kind of system is high loading capacity whereas the disadvantage is unpredictable risk complex and costly procedure application of aptamers aptamers are heat drug it is also used as therapeutic tool it is used in diagnosis this drug delivery in targeting system in bioimaging as analytic reagent it is also used in hazard detection as well as in food inspection so in brief these all are the applications 